Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Kiss Gel Strong in Subtleness and I'm going to do some reverse stamping. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Kiss's Gel Strong Subtleness. It's just a like a tan or a beige or something. Beautiful for a base for some nail art. And the formula as always is really good on this one. I really do love these polishes. I so wish my Dollar Tree would get some more colors in. <laughs> I'm always looking. <laughs> I am making a little bit of a mess, but here we go. We've got Woody to the rescue. He's going to help me clean up here a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my little cleanup brush because I'm being a real ninny on this today. <laughs> Look how pretty. Excellent. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down. go. Beautiful manicure already. I'll be using this KN34 plate. It's my butterfly plate, my beauty scraper, and a couple of different stampers. I'll be using Braves Diva on the black stamping polish. So I'm going to do this one butterfly wing, but I, I need it to be reversed. So I'm going to pick it up with this stamper and then plop it on over onto another stamper. That way I'll have the reversed image for my other nail because I'm going to do two of these and put them on two different nails side by side so it looks like a whole butterfly. So that's a little tricky and it actually worked out really well this time. So I'm looking at them, checking them out, making sure that I'm liking what I'm seeing. And then I'm going to use this little bitty butterfly image for a couple of nails. And there we go. I've picked it up twice. That's the second pickup. And now I'm going to put some of this LA Colors out on my mat. And this is the Ravishing. It's a very beautiful polish. I'm just so hooked on it. This is one my friend Shannon sent me. I'm just using a dotting tool to go in and fill in the butterfly wings with it. It's starting to be spring around here, so I'm all into some butterfly manicures. And I'd been picturing this one in my head. You guys know how I do this. I get them in my head and I get so excited when I actually make them happen. And I really do like this. It's, it's a sheer polish and I thought it would look, you know, real shiny and just perfect for this, this reverse stamping today. Just going in and making sure I've got everything filled in. So I, I filled in the two half wings and now I'm going to fill in one of these little solid butterflies for you so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not perfect at this, but you know, I get out of the lines a little bit, but I don't ever worry about it. I mean, it's nail art and uh, I love it. There we go. And I flip it over and look down through. Look how perfect. I'll be using the fast and or the it's the super grip from um, vibrant vinyls the sticky base can't hardly read the bottle because it's kind of dark green so I am gonna do the two nails that I'm gonna work on right now I'm gonna go ahead and put a thin coat of the sticky base down you can use even just clear polish for this step you just don't want it to dry all the way you just want it to still be kind of tacky I'm going to line up that first wing, and then I'm going to grab my other one, line it up, and stick it on there. So there we go, tap it down a little bit. So there we go. So I've got the two butterfly wings. And then I'm going to put that stick, same sticky base on my other two nails, on my pointer and my pinky. And um, we're going to do that same thing with those little full-sized images of butterflies. I really like this one. I was really, really happy with it. Now this is a little tricky using a stamper I can't see through because I don't use these very often. Um, not for this, you know, like exact placement of designs, but I pulled it off today. So yay! And there we go with the other one on the pinky. Love it! So, we're going to top this one with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And I'm sorry, I'm dialed in too much still. 
I tried to back out, but this is just so blingy that the camera just totally jazzes out on it. You just cannot take it. So there we go. We got our top coat on. Everything's sealed in and looking gorgeous. I do have a swatch photo coming so you can really see what it looks like. And I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.